Washington, good evening. We're going to begin with the president's latest use of his clemency powers. The Constitution gives him that right to pardon or commute. Today, he commuted the life sentence of a drug convict. That means she'll be released from federal prison, though her conviction will stand. She had a high-profile advocate, reality TV star Kim Kardashian, who made her case directly to the president at the White House. Paula Reed is there. Paula? Jeff, we have just learned that Alice Johnson has been released from prison after the president commuted her sentence earlier today. But some conservatives are worried that instead of being tough on crime, the president is practicing celebrity clemency. Johnson filmed this video for the news site Mike while serving a life sentence for possession of cocaine and money laundering. The interview caught the attention of reality star Kim Kardashian West, and last week she visited the White House to lobby President Trump on Johnson's behalf. I think that, you know, he really spent the time to listen to our case. Today, Kardashian tweeted, best news ever, and called Johnson to tell her that after 21 years behind bars, she would soon be free. Johnson is the latest in a series of high-profile acts of clemency, including pardons for Joe Arpaio, the controversial Arizona sheriff, Scooter Libby, a former aide to Vice President Dick Cheney, and Dinesh D'Souza, a conservative commentator. Late last month, Mr. Trump posthumously pardoned boxing legend Jack Johnson at the behest of actor Sylvester Stallone. We righted a wrong. Jack Johnson was not treated. Fairly. President Trump has bypassed the traditional Justice Department process for recommending clemency. Instead, the White House is preparing pardons for dozens of other people. You're fired. Mr. Trump has floated pardons for former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich and lifestyle mogul Martha Stewart, both former members of the Apprentice TV franchise. And as the Russia investigation continues, the president has also suggested pardoning himself. But some Republicans believe that may be taking uh. it too far. I don't know the technical answer to that question, but I think obviously the answer is he shouldn't, and no one is above the law. Uh, so, Paula, as far as Alice Johnson goes here, the president has been in favor of harsh penalties for drug offenders. Why did she receive clemency? It is surprising because it does seem to go against the broader policy that the president has advocated. In fact, he even suggested the death penalty for drug traffickers. And of course, his attorney general, Jeff Sessions, has taken a tough on crime approach to drug policy. But this also may be explained by the fact that she didn't get a pardon. Her sentence was commuted, so her jail time is over, but her conviction still stands. And as you mentioned, Paula Ellis Johnson is out tonight. Paula Reed, thanks.